We all know I have been monitoring a few things on this channel, one of them being Bove Island in Antarctica, and another is the Ministry of Humanity, a group or an organization that's supposedly an art studio that's linked to Bove Island. Now, I would like to clear something up really quick. There are people that do believe that the Ministry of Humanity happens to be trolling my channel because they have the same abbreviations as Minutes of Horror. M -O -H. After researching this, they have been around for quite some time now, perhaps even before I started my YouTube channel. They do have a YouTube channel of their own under Ministry of Humanity, and they do have one video that I have shown that does indeed go back a year. So this isn't a group or organization with a singular purpose to troll that just propped up overnight. And I do believe they might be playing off of the very real Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. But this group has caught my attention ever since a woman on TikTok who goes by Glam Ham Radio, who studies weather and studies this anomaly over in Antarctica on Beauvais Island, she received coordinates to the Ministry of Humanities art studio, and this art studio just happened to be on Beauvais Island. But what was even more bizarre was the image that was linked to the Ministry of Humanity, this art studio, that it has a link to CERN. Since focusing our attention on this art studio, they have deleted that image of Kali sacrificing a child. Well, for whatever reason, ever since gaining attention, this art studio has now become active on their YouTube channel. Their first and only upload was over a year ago under Ministry of Humanity 001. But like I said, ever since gaining attention, they have now uploaded two more videos in the span of a week. That very first video was very bizarre. Many people compared that video to watching the videotape off of the movie, The Ring. There happened to be some symbolism in that video, but their most recent video, this third video, The Ministry of Humanity 003, is packed with symbolism. The second video doesn't have much, it's more of a coming soon, but this third video says a lot. There was even an interesting comment left on this video. Somebody stated that they like how their channel was dead for over a year. They were not uploading videos for over a year. We all start talking about Bove Island and then out of nowhere, they start to upload again. So this time I'm not gonna go ahead and play the video directly. I am just gonna show screenshots or screen captures of the video and then do a breakdown of these scenes that I thought were rather interesting. The video is about 46 seconds long, but like I said, there is a lot of symbolism in this video. So I am gonna go ahead and do that now. Again, if you do wanna click off because you don't wanna see the screenshots, you're willing to do so, but I am gonna go ahead and do a breakdown now. The very first scene is of this red lady here. She's in front of a white background. Now, I have spoken about this white background numerous times. We have seen this white background when it comes to the woman known as Tiffany G, Andrew Dawson, and even Jamie Foxx when he reemerged after disappearing. That these interesting people that have these interesting stories, they disappear and they come back in front of a white background and then suddenly they change their story. What they saw, they did not see. What happened to them, nothing happened to them. Everything is fine in front of this white background. This scene here is why I did not let the video just play because in the background where you see this white triangle or white pyramid, you will see it flash multiple times like a form of mind control. But in front of the white pyramid in the green background, you will see another pyramid, but inside that pyramid is a clock. But right below this table, if you look at the floor, you will see the checkerboard. And this links to the Free People Society, the checkerboard colors. So right away in this scene, they are letting us know who they are. And I found the usage of the pyramid very interesting throughout this video because there is believed to be a pyramid linked to Bove Island, perhaps even under Bove Island. And they are saying that it's just a volcano. Like I have said many times, Hollywood likes to show us the truth without telling us the truth. They like to label everything they do as fiction, but they are given scripts by the CIA and other organizations. Well, in the movie Aliens vs. Predator, they let us know that there is a pyramid that does reside under Bove Island. The powers that be, they do use Hollywood to disguise the truth as just fiction. This next scene, as this gentleman fixes his suit in the background, 
we can see the sun going down. There have been a lot of talks about the sun recently, but what's very interesting is that the Ministry of Humanity has posted an image of the solar eclipse. They are linked to the solar eclipse as well. We do know that a day after the solar eclipse, April 9th, that massive anomaly did appear over Bove Island. I have always stated that April 8th was a massive ritual. This next scene, we do have a red phone and right next to it, we have a lot of cigarette butts and a cigarette pack and this scene keeps shaking. Again, they show us this pyramid clock with this pyramid background, but it's more in our face. Are they trying to tell us that time is running out or something is now about to begin? This scene really stood out to me because this looks like some kind of machine that measures weather or an earthquake. It has been theorized that weather manipulation is taking place on Beauvais Island with the use of heart. Not only can we see antennas in the waters right next to Beauvais Island, but the Ministry of Humanity does have a photo that links them to harp antennas. So are they giving us a hint or a clue that a massive weather event will take place soon? And I have theorized in multiple videos that we may see a massive earthquake strike North America. This next scene, we can see a shadowy individual whose ears look suspiciously like horns stand in front of a screen where it shows a black and white pyramid that keeps looping over and over again. So again, we see a lot of pyramid imagery in this video. And are they trying to tell us that they are linked to the Free People Society? And not only that, the rumored pyramid that lies under Beauvais Island. Is this where their quote unquote art studio is located inside this pyramid? You might be saying an art studio in a pyramid just sounds silly, but you have to remember to the powers that be, rituals are art. That's why we see them label spirit cooking as art. These rituals are always labeled as just art. So I wouldn't doubt one bit that art studio really means ritual studio. We see this individual answer the red phone looking down and looking sad, but behind him, you can see what looks like to be a door. A door has opened. The video ends with a static screen in the background and the same pyramid clock in our face. So again, are they telling us that time is up or are they telling us that something has now begun? What I find odd in the description box of this video, it says that this video was made in 2023, but they are just now releasing this video in May of 2024. So again, why? Why did they just start releasing these videos after their location was spotted on Beauvais Island? Now, I'm not accusing this group of any wrongdoing for what we know. They could just be a simple art studio and this could all be art, but the timing feels very weird. Are they leaving us breadcrumbs? Are they leaving us clues? Is this one giant puzzle that we have to put together? But I do want to hear from you. Please do comment in the comment section below. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.